Today in this video, we are going to dis discuss class 10 CBSE exercise number 1.3, second question. The question is, prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. So, as already we know that 3 is rational number and the 2 root 5 is irrational number. And the sum of any rational number and the irrational number always will be irrational. So theoretically we know rational number 3 is the rational number now, 2 root 5 is irrational number. If we find the sum means it will come irrational number. This one we have learned theoretically. We have learned in the class 9 as well as in the class 10, okay? Properties of irrational number. Then, but how can we prove this one practically or mathematically? It's okay. So let us see here now. And here also you must know contrary, co-prime, okay? Rational number, irrational number, you must know clearly first. After that you can do the sum easily. So let us see here now. I consider, let us, let us assume to the contrary that 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational. What is the meaning contrary? Opposite. Opposite to the given statement. In the statement given that 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. But I took just opposite to the statement that 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational. Okay. Then, if 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational, it can be written in the form of P by Q. Yes or no? Yes. So now, 3 plus 2 root 5 can be written as P in the form of P by Q. Okay, you can write P by Q or you can write A by B, not a problem. So, it is in the form of P by Q now. But what is the meaning here? A and the B are, A and the B are co-prime. Okay, A and the B should not have any common factor. Transfer to the left side. So, what will come here now? 2 root 5 is equal to A by B minus 3. Then what will get? 2 root 5 is equal to this one. Solving means what will come now here? B and A minus 3B. Then, so what is the meaning 2 root 5? 2 into root 5. So, 2 transferring this side, root 5 is equal to A minus 3B by 2B. Okay, so A and the B are, A and the B are integers now. A also integer, B also integer. Then if I solve this one compulsory, we'll get the rational number. Okay, here A and the B are A and the B are integers. So therefore, A minus three B by two B is rational okay so this part will become rational now then what is the, what is the meaning of this statement root 5 is equal to this number root 5 is equal to this number but this number is already rational number now that means root 5 also def, then root 5 is also rational yeah. Already we know that root 5 is irrational, but this statement is telling that root 5 is rational. So this statement, so this contradicts, this contradicts the fact that root 5 is irrational. Okay, what is the meaning here now? According to this statement, we got that root 5 is also rational but this statement totally contradicts to the fact that root 5 is irrational that means root 5 is rational is right or wrong this statement is right or wrong this statement is wrong now why why this contradiction happens because of our wrong assumption okay so this contradiction this contradiction arise this contradiction arises because of because of our wrong assumption
wrong assumption that 3 plus 2 root 5 is 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational okay we have considered now we have assumed now 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational we consider like that because of our wrong assumption we got the root 5 is rational but this statement totally contradicts to the root 5 is irrational so because of our wrong assumption only this contradict this contradicts happens okay question number three second sum seven root five seven root five is irrational we have to prove now so first of all what you are going to do is let us consider let us assume let us assume to the contrary let us assume to the contrary <coughs> that 7 root 5 is rational question given that 7 root 5 is irrational but opposite to that I consider now 7 root 5 is rational then if 7 root 5 is rational means we can write as p by q 7 root 5 can be written as p by q where p and the q are integers and uh, integers and also they are co prime okay 7 and the q are integers and also they are co primes so co prime means you know already they should not have any common factor now what i'm going to do is 7 7 root 5 means what is the meaning 7 into root 5 so this 7 I transfer this side what will come five, root 5 is equal to p by 7 q okay so now from this statement what we got p is also integer q also integer then if we solve this if we simplify this part will come rational number okay right side will become rational number meaning is root 5 value will be rational number right side will be rational number that means compulsory root 5 will be rational number okay so now let us see here here p and the q are p and the q are integers p and the q are integers therefore p by 7 q is rational okay if if p by 7 q is rational means the, then root 5 is also rational root 5 is also a rational number why because left side and the right side both should be same if right side is rational number means left side also will be rational number okay so now we got here now root 5 is also rational so this statement root 5 is rational this statement totally contradicts this statement totally giving opposite meaning to the root 5 is irrational okay so what we we got now root 5 is rational but root 5 cannot be rational at all so this statement this contradicts contradicts the fact that this contradicts the fact that root 5 is irrational it is already fact only root 5 is irrational is the fact but root 5 is also rational this statement totally giving opposite meaning to the this statement this fact okay this contradiction this contradiction arises because of because of our wrong assumption wrong assumption that 7 root 5 is 
rational okay so our contradiction is wrong now that means what will happen 7 root 5 is therefore 7 root 5 is irrational it will never be a rational okay always it will be irrational 